guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me next time and you'll see. Is he trying to show me his <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what? It's Jessica and welcome back to Danganronpa. In the last episode, we had our first class trial and I have to say, I thought it was a lot of fun, even though it was like very panic inducing, but we did find out who the culprit was unexpectedly with somebody I didn't think it was gonna be. So now we have to survive the rest of the time and I have a feeling this is where everybody's gonna start to crack and more murders are definitely going to happen. But if you guys enjoyed this video and this series, remember to leave a like on this video. It does let me know that you are enjoying this let's play and you do help support the channel all right we're officially in chapter two and the music is not helping <laughs> he has nothing to say okay let's see if there's like anything we can look at oh wait is naiki not saying anything makoto you got nothing to say it's good she she's really good it's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every single sign of Saika's existence disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us... Uh-huh. Oh, I almost forgot! Since the class trial is over, I'll go uh, I'll go ahead and dispose all of the corpses! What are you gonna do? It's okay, no need to thank me, just seeing your delighted smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at the rotting corpse every day! That can't be good for your health. <laughs> I guess? Where do you put them, though? I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka or and Junko's death. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time! I was just about to go and get you and drag you back here! S sorry hmm. So, hmm. what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? I imagine it's pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Yo, Taka, he's <laughs> so insensitive. Hey, come on. Jesus, that's f***ed up, man. Why would you say something like that? Thank you. My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happened. I see. It must have been tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there, with her scent still hanging in the air... That would just hurt as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto? Um... Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? Yo, Hina, I know you're trying to be nice, but saying that doesn't help either. Like, the he's he's practically in love with Saika, and that's not gonna help anything. If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. <laughs> Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? Hm. We already- We were already working together and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at, at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if. The next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Like he just said, they did. It doesn't matter. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. <laughs> to working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The Mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak which is supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit into their desires. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything that has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then. Then what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly wants to escape, We'll just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. No. What? No what? I, I don't I want can't to take live. It. If it means killing someone else to do it, I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? 
anyone else. What do you mean? It's because Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's so different than us killing him, him ourselves. But so if um... we hadn't have voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you if you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full French masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that has happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't imagine what would have happened to us if we refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Is it 10 o'clock already? <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is 10 o'clock now. now. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Damn. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. <laughs> so Get be well he's a bear. aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then. Sweet dreams everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> What was that just now? <sighs> was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cool, man. Don't with a me. piece of Who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates. Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Yeah, literally. Chapter 2! Boys, life of despair, daily life. What does that mean? <laughs> I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay. What the hell's happening? Are we exercising? And down. Of course, of course, Taka is the one doing it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Why does that sound so creepy? <sighs> Ah, doesn't this feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure you stay healthy! You're the one keeping us stuck inside! <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff! That's my motto! Yeah Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? No? <laughs> Did you fall in love with me? Am I just gonna die for? Am I just dying, waiting, right, writhing agony for? Why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. <laughs> Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry! Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secrets of the Assassin's Fist! Passed down for the generation to generation of the Empire of Darkness! The power can be yours! Hmm? That sounds like a load of junk that kind of middle schoolers would make up! It doesn't matter! Just get to the point! Did you really just call us down here just to exercise? Hey! Of um, course not! You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Hmm. Huh, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? Aladdin? Please. It really sucks if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated! Very nice. So go ahead, look around all you want, enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode! With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than he had just showed up. 
but a whole new world. Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Probably like new areas of the map. Pieces. Well, we don't know till we look. Hey. Whatever he meant. It seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay then, let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that. Got it. More like a stable food source. Now let's get moving. <laughs> Seeing this uh, words as the signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Oh, what is Hero doing here? What the heck? Hey, Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this is awful. Bad, awful, tr terrible trap. You're serious. The stuff you see lined up in there? Any god could come by and use it and send a message. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh? God, I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of, of total devastation and ruin. <laughs> Let me out of here. <laughs> Let me out. I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. <laughs> okay, this guy's crazy. I don't know what he means. Like, looking at it, it looks the same. Oh, God. Hey. Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would have seen a path the second floor has opened up. You hear me? But it also the utmost importance to double check the area as we already know just in case. Without a doubt. I, I'm so clever to think that. I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. Why is this guy always yelling? <laughs> Yo. I went and checked the metal hatch in the main hall just to be sure, but Dude, just shit. like I figured it hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I'd be su surprised if you made things easy for us. Hey, damn it. Hey! What? Don't make that face. You look like a. <laughs> you want me to put some fighting spirit in you? Well, do ya? No thanks. I, I think I got enough for now. Yo. Oh, okay. We're gonna go look for another way out then. Mondo, you scare me, but like also, I really like you. <laughs> the gate that was blocking the stairs has been open. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Let's find out! Oh. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here? Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. I mean, bathroom? Pool? Wait, can I look at the map? What the heck? So we got a classroom, girls' bathroom, and then the pool's over there. Archive, library, another classroom. Okay. Wait, before I go over there, where's the other classroom? What the hell's on the thing? Okay, let me talk to her first. I see. This must be already meant by a new world. Huh. I should probably take a real close look around. Reality isn't everything. He's just putting messages all over the- Is that blood too? Cause like, you know, the Pepno Bismol color is blood around here. Just a second! Oh! Makoto! Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! 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 You don't have to keep repeating it, I got it! <laughs> Okay. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Uh, yeah, you're right about that. Nina seems way more excited than usual. Okay. Girl, you're not concerned about this machine gun above your head? Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that? Oh, God. Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No? I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you don't seem like the type who might be into that kind of thing. But, but still, it sounds like the locker rooms are here have all exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I kind of like to get a little stronger. Yeah, you think right now would be a good time? You want to get stronger? I have to say that's kind of unexpected. Yeah, but I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room. Um... It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of the locker room or something? That's pretty weird phobia, though. Hey, Makoto, don't judge her, you freaking lunatic! The second floor has opened up, the living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit, things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. May not be so bad? People are still dying, Celeste! The locker rooms connect to a pool. It looks super nice and big a fanta and fantastic to swim in. <sighs> I'm beyond excited right now. I can't wait to dive in. In fact, I'm going to get mad thinking about it. 
why are you getting mad? Okay, let's see what else we can look in here. Let's see if I can go to the boys' room. Just to see the locker room. Oh, I can't go in? Yeah. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get to the locker rooms. Really? Uh, oh, God. Course. Really, really? Oh. Hmm. If you want to unlocker the locker room, you'll have to swipe a personal e hand handbook card to access the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room. And same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. Uh. But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? <gasps> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity! Oh, that's why there's a gun. See, there's a Gatlet gun mounted on the ceiling, right? <laughs> and it'll be... It'll be dunka 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 dunka! Just a second! I bet I'd be get really hurt by... Sh being... I bet I'd really get hurt to get shot by that thing. <laughs> what? Um, no, I think it'll be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if somebody loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? <laughs> that would never occur to me to think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm? Hmm. Okay, then how's this sound? I got Time it. for a new rule. As the moment lo loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there. So nobody can give it their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% caught in. <laughs> I do not imagine anyone else would have lent their e-handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be responsible for anything the person might do using the handbook. So, um, but you know, you seem awfully concerned with this all locker room security stuff. Of course! It's cause you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs! You're at that age you're trying humping a plastic bottle! So keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch! <laughs> and then in that case, I would ask to keep you the same closed eye on our dorm. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Okay, so this is a Christian uh, school. We we are Christians around here. Yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms by force or by... Oh. Ew, by force? Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya Okay, later. so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! <laughs> That stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go dip in and cheer myself up. You got it! Celeste, Hero, wanna come with me? As for me... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'll pass this time. Oh, oh, come! When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. <laughs> Alright, here's the library. Whoa, everybody's in here, huh? Whew. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I would want to do much reading in. That's what you're concerned about? <laughs> I'm absolutely shocked! How come? Damnation. They have all these books here, not one copy of any of my works? <sighs> yeah, why would they have comics in the library? <laughs> That's most fanfic. It's just Horn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. Oh my god, please can she die next? I hate her so much! You just don't get it, not at all! I don't <laughs> I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Wow! See what I mean? Why is she like saying all this shit? It's so uncalled for. Say whatever you like about me, but never judge a book by its author. No, now hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. Yeah, exactly, Ifumi. I don't like you either, but I agree. What you see before you is nothing more than a rhyme that contains a meaty pulp of genius. <laughs> my creations are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> You're so full of it. <laughs> ha! I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? These two really worry me. <laughs> hmm. But still, this library is most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. 
Okay, you bitch. You must be pretty happy with all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the contents seem lacking. You know Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Mm -hmm. Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Hmm. I've seen what you write, Miss Fukuwa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. <laughs> my what stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to the garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumble of letters. Somebody should just burn it all. <laughs> oh, the lady don't protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy on boy action. <laughs> boy on boy? I don't care if it's anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. Uh, it's all filled. Throw away culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Yeah. Ugh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> you've insulted me and you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, can we leave? I don't want to hang out with these people anymore. Creeping me out. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like the library's been neglected for a pretty long time. It's nice as the school itself. Whoever's in charge of upkeeping is pretty lazy and strange. What's this letter? Do I really want to look at that? It looks like a laptop. The laptop's pretty old and it's covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. It's broken. There's nothing I can really do about it. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter? What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave it here without finding out what's inside. Uh, okay. Makoto, you really care about someone's mail? Right now, we're in a very dire situation of trying to get out of here! I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I folded in paper to read what was written there. From Home Speaks Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope Speak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not easy to, one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. Wait, what? But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Speak Academy. We intend to reopen the doors as soon as the issue of forcing our closure has been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. Has the school not been open for a while? This was a trap then. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental author authorization to formally cease operations. <laughs> what does this mean? Hmm. hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting. It would seem Hope Speak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust and the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have been happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope Speaks closed down at least a year ago? <laughs> but like most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Yeah, right? Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been all over the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked up stuff online about the school and never saw anything about it. So in other words... That must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all here. Someone could have created a place to judge and execute people that could potentially be capable of anything. Hm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason why there's no other students here could be because the school had already been closed down. <laughs> that would be nice. Simple situation, it's true. But then, what about the other part? 
The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control has made it necessary. I make my mistake, this is not the end for Hope Speak Academy. Tend to reopen the door as soon as the issue forcing our closure has been resolved. What do they mean, a serious issue? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening with us now? No. If the two events are fact connected, uncovering the connection would be a useful clue, on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although, I can't really say any more until we find more details. <laughs> so in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. We can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here. Will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Anyway, now that I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor, but I didn't see anything that might lead us to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope for someone else to find something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Listen to me! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover anything interesting? Yes, indeed. There's a library! Okay. And a pool! A freaking pool! A locker room filled with exercise equipment! Well. There was not, however, anything resembling an exit route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourselves to the gr to the gills whenever you feel like it. Are you okay with Keep this? Keep in mind, of course, that it's going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about the fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, well, um... What? There wasn't anything what? in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing? Unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come you on. You fucking people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now or anything or any warehouse or wherever the fuck? Stop fucking We're around. We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. Now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaption is key, yes? For now, we must we must find a way out to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know that if we should discover something... So then. So, are we done for today? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. The air seems suddenly to grow heavy again. Was this the Mastermind's plan to give us hope? Just to turn around and betray that hope? I mean, yeah, they want despair from us. All right, it's nighttime. We all promised not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll go to bed. Monokuma fear. I don't like that nothing has happened yet. It just means that something terrible is gonna happen soon. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I really don't like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby. I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are, are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. Get into a decent college where I make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy and paste. I don't have any Im imagination. I'm perfectly average, cut out, cut, cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Is he mocking Makoto? <laughs> That's right. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. New regulations have been added, so please Is take a look he's and enjoy the pool your different, school life different more thing. than ever before. New rule has been added to the regulations menu. You must be referring to yesterday's loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now, I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Hey, Makoto. Morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope. Still waiting on Buyuka and Taka. I'm still gonna call him Buyuka. I don't care. <laughs> Buyuka's no surprise. It, but it's strange that Taka's not here yet. That is true. Taka's always here. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of the tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is no... But there is one problem. Which is... <sighs> I'm thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> Ifumi, would you like to make me some tea? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well... Why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Um... Uh, okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi was sucked into the kitchen. And a few minutes later... Thank 
you for waiting! Mifune, you reappeared with a tray in hand and gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> hmm, finally. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know? No, everybody else but her. Screw you! <laughs> There's no way to think about I am with the decline! You're not my work. type at all! Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's about the love, casually, basic instinct, act and react. <sighs> <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. Small smile a plate across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in your hand. Oh, wait. She cooked, She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could to the wall. What the fuck? Why? What? What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? <sighs> I hate this kind of tea. Um, um, I don't understand? Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. They ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, for their imagination, I replied, ah, yes. How do they some the milk tea, please? In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be a part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Having milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries and ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if they offer a proper style of milk tea. <laughs> I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction that we had just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. I am also confused. Um, I went to all that trouble to make you tea and you wanted me to go even farther? <sighs> yes, I realize that can be quite a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more than time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> Why even bother creating a menu if you aren't going to offer the highest level of quality? Well... Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little That doesn't bitch. matter. Oh, whoa. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. Say what? Girl, why she just change her mood all of a sudden? <laughs> okay, your little piggy will bring it right out. <laughs> I do love coercion. You were like a totally different person just now. Yeah, shit, you really went psycho there. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man. She's the one she's one scary chick. The dining hours flew open and one late arrival came through storming in. But <laughs> bad news, everyone, there's a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What happened? <clears throat> Would seem Buyaka refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he's just wasn't there. I think maybe. I like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that, he didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what he meant. It, it might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me. Uh, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your Stop problem? Stop trying to one up everybody. Um. Okay, I'll go check this room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well, then. Very well. Then the rest is gonna go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Buyaka. Buyaka, Buyaka! <laughs> so where might he have gone to? Maybe he wants to go check at the second floor of the school again? Oh, Lord. Okay, wait. Hang on. Let me go in the back with Wafumi. Mm-hmm. Ah, Mr. Nayagi, what's going on? Well, nobody's seen Bayakuya this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. What? That's not good at all! However... This little piggy needs to... I have a holy index to deliver proper milk tea to my master. I think he's into this. <laughs> to bless this undeserving swine with such honor, I will serve you with all my heart and soul! Uh, okay, good luck with that. Fumi created some creep alternate reality for himself. Celeste, aren't you gonna go help look for Bayakuya? I have not had my tea yet. Huh? As for me. Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no wish to do anything. <laughs> if you are in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hafumi to move faster. Uh, okay. Aren't you kind of selfish? Yeah, she is selfish. <laughs> Not being selfish, she is selfish. The bath is now open. That was closed before, that's what they said. Ooh, fancy. 
How's it going? You found him? No. Hey, come Shit, on. Shit, man. Where the hell did he go? He's got his head so stuck far up his ass. Who knows what's going on with him? Figured maybe he was taking a bath or something. By the way. So, what about you? You a morning bath kind of guy? Hell yeah. After spending all night riding your hog, wind up if, uh, wind up your face. There's nothing better than a morning dip. Wait, why are we talking about this? The hot water loosens you up and the heat your soul get your heart and bloody pumping. Uh, sure thing. I'll have to take your root for it, all that. Why? What? You don't know what? what I'm talking about? Fucking nerd. Hell yeah. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me next time and you'll see. Is he trying to show me his dick? What's happening? <laughs> what? I'll think about it. But I mean, it's not like you've been riding your hog here at school, right? Okay, we're just gonna pretend this is fine. Okay, we can go into the warehouse now. It's open as well. Whoa, holy shit. Ha! Mm. Huh, I see you came to search as well, Makoto! Mm. But you were one step too late! I've already finished my investigation. There was no trace of by Bayakuya here. You hear me? Any army mar marches on its stomach, as they say. In other words. So, I thought maybe he would come in here and have his fell. We mm -hmm. must all eat. Eat until there's nothing left to eat. You understand? Anyway, now is no time to get discouraged. We must head elsewhere to continue our search. Uh, yeah, you're right. Hey, Hina, any luck? Mm. Nah, it's no use. I keep banging on this door and nothing. Come on, already open up! Careful, you're gonna burst the door down hitting that hard. <laughs> Relax, nothing compared to what Sakura could do. Ah. Sakura's really awesome, you know? If she really wanted to, she could tear this door to shreds. Uh, I see. Well, she is the ultimate martial artist. She might actually be able to do it. Mm. Hmm. I've been knocking long enough. I think I can say he's not here. I think you're right. Okay, I'm gonna go look around for him. Yeah. Okay, good luck. Can I try? Can I try knocking on his door? Nothing. Um. See, he's not in there. Yeah, I guess not. What's she doing? Hey, Toko, hanging out with Hina, huh? What's your problem? What? You got a problem with that? No? <laughs> Something might have happened, right? Being alone right now might not be safe. So you got scared and decided to stay close to Hina? Guess everyone has a softer side. As long as I'm with the sports idiot. Something does happen. I'm sure she'd jump in without thinking and take the fall. I... I don't want to talk to her anymore. Like, every time we do, she just insults somebody. I'm so sick of her. What, are you eavesdropping? Just, you're just awful. Get lost, you straight cat. Okay. What are you doing in the bathroom, hero? Hmm. Huh? Oh, well. According to the spirits. I consulted the spirits and he had a bathroom emergency. Can you make it to breakfast? Well? His guts forced him to spend all morning in the can. No way. But I told totally him was wrong. Swing and miss. Three strikes him out. Yeah. Bayakuya doesn't seem the kind of guy to have problems like that. Also, they have their own bathroom. Why would he be stuck in here? So, you thought to come here too? Huh? So, if you think about where Bayakuya was so interested in yesterday, you could probably guess where he is right now, right? Huh? What was Bayakuya's... Is, what was Bayakuya... Uh, uh, what is it what Bayakuya was interested in again? The library? I can't remember what he said. I genuinely don't remember. <laughs> oh, hey, Makoto. So, did you find Bayakuya? Uh, I'm no, sorry. I didn't see him anywhere. I see. But somehow, Kyoko figured out he, where he might be. Huh? You know? Kyoko's so amazing. She's so cool, she's smart, and she really seems tough. She's definitely smart, that's for sure, but tough? Compared to, the, compared to say, Sakura or even Hina, she doesn't seem the type different from Chihiro. Nah, she is tough, I can tell too. Is it weird to compare them like that? Oh. Uh, okay. She must be in the library. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in a sudden surprise. Bayakuya? Oh. Of all things I imagined, this is mostly definitely wasn't one of- Same, I didn't think you'd be sitting here like sipping out some tea. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What is it- <laughs> Yo, it's, it's funny. <laughs> I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh. 
Sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? <laughs> Bioku snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up, one after another. Yo! Bayakuya! So this is where you've been hiding! <sighs> the heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were all very concerned. <laughs> well, you all had a reason to be. I was just reading. I've never been such a coarse novel before. But it might just prove useful at some, at some point. Well, what are you reading? <laughs> a mystery novel. Well... Wait, wait! So you're gonna use what you're learning in there to betray us? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah! <laughs> It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> so often you get to take part in such a high stakes, high tension activity. Is he into this? <laughs> so, if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> His words send a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he smoke, spoke. He looked as if he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn what you. the fuck do you mean game? That's fucked up. Hm. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death. Which can only one which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> He's right. It's a zero sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It is part of the game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through right now is called zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must complete must compete for positions or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually, entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, that okay? our limited resources, he's the only one of us can successfully become the black end. So in other words, this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. That can't be what they had in mind! <laughs> this is why adaption is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. Ew! What the hell? <sighs> it sounds as if you could not do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not like to. You do not like to speak like others. Exactly, I would expect from to gone the air apparent. <sighs> Just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second. You talk like that, but if we ended up dead? Not possible. I won't. I, th it simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> You know, I still can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Yo, Mondo's gonna kill somebody! Piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Don't make me repeat Like myself. I said, I won't die. <sighs> Keep saying that, but... <sighs> Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He's the ultimate affluent prodigy. After all, a boy uh, race. Uh, he's the ultimate affluent prodigy. After all, a boy's race to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victoriously. Victorious, even if it's a life and death situation. <laughs> Is that not so, Bayakuya? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It's because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you not trying to say just we're on the same level? Close to that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. <laughs> anyway, let me just say this all to you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give you their best, where's the fun for me? No. 
That's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This is, isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill our, our own friends is... It's horrific. <laughs> friends. Who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. I mean, it's kind of true. They're not exactly friends. But... but you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Come on. Yes? If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop fucking around. Hey, shithead! You get off and bully people like that can't, that can't fight back? You wanna try that on me? <laughs> so, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Fuck you! What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you wasted your breath on such empty gibberish. That's it, you're fucking dead! Just a second! Hold on, just calm down! Piece of shit! I am calm! <laughs> how is this calm? <laughs> Anyway, I don't have any intentions of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during this elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time. And I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the, que is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become a part of that last supper just yet. <sighs> Quit talking like you're a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that I'm, you're ultimately, you're all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. This guy's still a bitch. <laughs> Last second glance, Mayakuya left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with I'll me. Oh fuck him then. Maybe. But what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone will poison our food? Yeah. Hey, come on, you too, Togo. Anyway, oh, it's not like anyone would care if I was gone, right? Girl, you're right about that. I would not give a shit if you died. <laughs> Actually, I bet you all want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. Yes, because your personality is terrible. None of us think that. I do, right here, me. I do. Uh, I'm telling you. You just think you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. Mm. You think I don't know? But I do. You want me gone. Uh, I'm sure the, the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Uh, hey, took away. <laughs> just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Yeah, fuck her. I don't care. <laughs> Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without an answering any questions. Everyone headed back to the room. Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have the time to take off even a day off. I need to keep myself going. Free time. I need to talk to somebody. Let me get some gifts. Maybe I can go talk to Kirigi and get something for her. I don't know what she likes, but I'll get, I'll try to get something. <laughs> Alright, let me talk to her. Whew. I have to put all my energy into watching out for myself. I don't have time to worry about anyone else. Hmm. Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Yes. Correct. You want to spend time with me. However. But I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? Spend some time with Kyoko in silence. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, can I try to give her something? I don't know if this will work, but... You think she'll like the self-destructing cassette? <laughs> Just gonna give this to her. <laughs> I actually feel pleased. How strange. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Oh, really? <laughs> Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, um, Kyoko? And? If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's nothing- there's no need for it. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. You could certainly make an argument for that form of friendship may help prevent killing, so... But you are asking for some kind of deep connection. Huh? Because you could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friends, so that we can gather information. No, that's not yeah. it! Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? A test? That's right. If you're so gung-ho on friendship as you claim, this should be an easy question. Uh, okay. Should I have an answer to your question? Is that it? So then. Are you ready? <laughs> she didn't need an answer. You consider... You consider Hina one of your friends, yes? And? If that's true, what's her ultimate ability? That's an easy one. 
He has ultimate ability. She's been training since day one. Swimming? Nice <laughs> body, really? He needs the ultimate swimming pro, of course. Correct. Well, ask and answer. It would seem... Then, your pleas of camaraderies are true. Of course! <laughs> yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you could never lie. Everyone would know right away. <laughs> She's still insulting him. Again, with that foolishly open stuff. So then. Okay then, as promised, what would you like to know about me? Uh, oh, let me see. What school did you go used to go to before you came here? So... Before I came here? I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it an exchange program or do your parents work overseas or something? My parents? I suppose. She's answering question marks. Does she not remember anything? Why all the question marks? Anyway, okay, so she was living abroad because of her dad's job. So what kind of work does he do? Foreign government? Top secret clearance? More question marks. Okay, so he does have his top secret work for other governments. All I can think of is assassin? Whew. I kept my eye up the deal. Goodbye. This should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. She left without even waiting for a reply. She's so full of mystery. And hearing what she has to say just add even more mystery on top of it. Yeah, okay, cool. We got a skill point increase. Nice. Once we're, all, once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Still plenty of time left. Okay, so I still have free time to talk to somebody else, but I haven't decided who I also want to talk to. Mondo would be kind of cool to talk to. Kind of want to talk to Sakura, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of want to talk to her. Alright, let's talk to Miss Sakura. Mm. I can almost feel the wind on my face. Hmm, should I talk to Sakura for a while? Yes! <laughs> I admire almost greedy approach you take towards growing stronger. Now, I'd like to begin training you in my family's secret technique. Wait, what? <laughs> Sakura introduced me to her family's secret techniques. I feel like I've gotten a lot stronger. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Yes! Can I give her something? Can I give her like a lunchbox? You know, like working out, you need food. I don't know, that's all I can think of. <laughs> you didn't need to go all this trouble for me. Does that mean she liked it? Hmm. My post-training break is almost rocking time of my day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you exercise every morning, Sakura? Mm. Unless there are errands that I absolutely can't get out of, yes, I always do my training. If I don't, I feel restless for the rest of the day. But I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Doesn't it get tough? Huh. I can I can't say I, I have seen I can't say I've seen it as tough. It's also that I can get stronger after all. And I have to keep on getting stronger because my destiny is to fight. Your destiny is to fight? Mm. From the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as its champion. That's one heck of a legend! <laughs> my father was master, and my every waking moment was spent with him learning to fight. As a child, I sparred with boxing champions and hit the mat with wrestling gold medalists. I was no match for them when I first began, of course. But long before they were no match for me. You mean you can actually start beating people like that? Mm. I'd say my specialty is solid standing up and transition to grappling and strong ground game. Essentially, it's complete approach. Anything else wouldn't just make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline, then fusing them together. Stand up, fighting, grappling, strong ground game, that can only be... Oh god, what is it? I don't know. Bitch, I don't know. <laughs> You're basically a mixed martial arts fighter, right? Of course. That's right. It's the most effective real-world fighting style, which is why I chose it. I don't want to be just the best in comp competitions. I want to be the strongest human on Earth. I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? Well... No, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Really? Huh. Until I can beat him, I'll never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you about it another time, if the opportunity presents itself. Sakura didn't make a sound as she left. I honestly can't believe there's someone out there stronger than Sakura. Maybe her dad? Even if they're real, can't they really be human? Another day gone. But even though today's over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this gonna keep going? Until everyone's dead, I guess! All this stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Oh, here we go again! 
Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. Can't help it. It's just keys with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. What? <laughs> well, I guess I better head to the dining hall before anything else. I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always, but... What? <clears throat> Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Why, Akuya and Toka stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Even the table looks better somehow. <sighs> I assume that is because three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Hmm. Still, I know Bayakuya was whatever. Still, I know Bayakuya's whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Toko? For serious. I don't know. She's super annoying. <laughs> Yo, Hiro, I like you more now. <laughs> so cold you were like a piece of rock candy you hear me what no rock candy isn't cold it's sweet Ugh, anyway bayaku is the real problem we don't keep an eye on him he might really kill somebody you can see it in his eyes we got no choice gotta rope him we gotta have to keep him bound and gagged i think that's going a little overboard Count he's right in this situation there's nothing scarier than we ally turn loose cannon it's just when we were kids, somebody would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What? What the fuck are you talking about? You're gonna use that rope of tug of war or something, idiot? It can't be. I'm not an idiot. Yo! You're an idiot! Damn Who you! Who are you going stupid? Why are they fighting? <laughs> huh? What's wrong, Jahira? You don't look so great. Aww. Oh, I'm just going through a little self-loathing. Huh? Self-loathing? Well, after what Bayakuya said to me yesterday, I just got nervous. I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Hondo ended up having to help me out, and even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. I I hate how weak I am. Ah, uh, I see. So Mana made you depressed. What? What? How was it my what? fault? Hey, come on. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway. I don't know. He's sexist. Oh no. <laughs> are you crying? Cause you were screaming like a lunatic. Hey, come I, on. I, hey, don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I, I won't yell at you anymore. Mm. Really? You're not sure I believe that? Huh? Just shut up. Why? I got it. I'll make you what? a promise as a man. Huh? Promise as a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there's one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said, no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Um, left you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my brother's dead. Oh, I see. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't, I want to make you all, uh, don't want to make you all guys cry. Yo. Anyway, you can trust me when I make that promise, so don't gotta cry anymore. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mondo. Uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> He's blushing. <laughs> but, but, I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um... No, I want to get stronger. You guys should start breaking out. <laughs> In that case, I would be happy to help you out any time. <laughs> but then Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces! Just a second! Shut up, you! <laughs> You know? Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? I see. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man. If we keep helping each other like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. I don't think so. <laughs> Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do and try to understand these two better? Okay, so we got free time again. God, do I really have to go talk to Toko? Because I really don't want to. Okay, I want to talk to Mondo today and see what he thinks. Jesus Christ. Ugh, I'm so bored. Bored, bored, bored! Hmm, should I hang with him? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I'm totally down to kill some time with you. Okay. Kill some time with Mondo. Okay, we grew closer. Yes, let's see if I can give him something. You think maybe Mondo would like this because he's like... He seems like a punk rock kind of guy, I guess. <laughs> he's watching! 
Well, if you're offering it, I can't say no. Better not ask for it back. Get the impression that he like it. That's good. Yo. Hey, Makoto. What's your ride? Huh? My ride? Why? Yeah, man. You're hot. Your chopper. Your motorcycle. Oh, uh, I don't ride anything. Uh. What? You're not like a little kid anymore, right? And you don't have a hog? Jesus God, Christ. you're such a fucking dweeb. Uh, sorry? Yo. All right, man. I'm gonna educate you. A real man rides, uh, Kawasaki, okay? That's what I ride. Hell yeah. You gotta see it, man. It's a V-twin, got monster power. It's like we are dancing. Of course, it ain't for just for anyone. You gotta have the skills to handle it. You must really love your motorcycle. Stop fucking Hell around. yeah, I do! I'm a goddamn biker, ain't I? We're crazy as hell! You're the leader of the biggest biker gang in Japan, right? Hell yeah! Damn straight, the Invisible Crazy Diamond Gang! You wanna come and ride with us? The monster sound coming out of the straight pipe! Hot damn! Straight pipe? What? Come on, you gotta know what a straight what? pipe is, right? It's like when something's missing, right? <laughs> That's what makes a monster sound, it pops high. It's got a muffler? Like, pipe for smoke? No. When it's got no muffler? I don't freaking know! It's when a motorcycle doesn't have a muffler, right? Hell yeah! So you did know! Good! Oh, thank god! This is the benefits of marrying someone who's into cars! <laughs> then that's that! Next time we go on a ride, you ride with us! That's true! Man, that makes me think back to when I first started riding. Yo! My big bro used to ride too, you know? His name was Daya. Daya and Mondo, together we were the Diamond Brothers. Everyone up and down the country knew us. What? Of course, I was always what? the cool one. Diamond Brothers? That kind of sounds incredible. By the way. First time I went out, I ended up back in the pack. Eventually, the cops caught us and they surrounded me. I was getting some tough shit, man. Hey, damn it. Pulled over and then when they came up to me, well, let's just say it was a massacre. A massacre? Man, Monto, you must be really strong. Stop fucking of course. around. You can't wait the banner of our gang without that kind of strength. Dude, In a fight, they'll go for the leader first. Kill the leader of the pack, you know? That's why the other gangs came, came after me. So if you want to be a leader of the pack, you gotta be a tough motherfucker. Yo. You'll see what I mean when you go on our first ride. Get ready for it. Actually, maybe it's better that I don't get involved in that kind of thing. And, like I said, I don't have a motorcycle. I don't even know how to ride one. Hell yeah. Then, you could ride with me. I mean, that's kind of sweet. <laughs> Riding with Mondo, but the other gang tar targets him first, right? No, no way. Hell yeah. Hey, I said get ready for it. Damn, I am pumped. I can't wait to get out of here now. Mondo left, apparently in a pretty good mood. <laughs> Crap, this is really bad. Even if he gets out of here, I still might be in real trouble. <laughs> Dragging my anxiety behind me, I went back to my room. Still some time left in the day. Don't feel like sitting here. Okay, so I can talk to one more person. Let me see if I can get more gifts, you know, just to have variety. This might be crazy, but I'm gonna talk to Celeste today. How are you? Oh, Makoto, how are you? Hmm, should I hang out with her for a while? Sure. Indeed. Would you like to play a game of chance with me? <laughs> I would be happy to empty your wallet and show it to you. <laughs> Celeste gave me the business. Alright. Sure, I, if I can find something for her. Okay, I feel like this is something she would like just because she has the Lolita vibe, so I'm gonna give this to her. Well. Oh, so I can have this? I may have revised my initial impression of you. <laughs> hmm. The more wonderful things I receive from you, the better impression I get. Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Ah, oh, she really likes it! <laughs> Makoto, I'd like to share something with you. Huh? What is it? <laughs> my perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whenever the game, whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. There is? Indeed. The power is luck. Luck. Actually. There's only two types of luck, good and bad. There is no in-between. And there is luck to build on every human at the moment of conception. Like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is, luck is life. Well. Do you see what I'm saying? You mean that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. That is why I have never lost. So, that's all there is to it? <laughs> you are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One 
Okay, I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. Okay. Well then, have a nice day. Well, in other words, Celeste quietly disappeared. I'd say it's, my life's been more bad luck than good luck lately. Gambling's probably not the great idea for me. All right. Cool. No, gambling or the luck part may be good for trial. I don't I better go get something to eat before it's nighttime. I should ha I should head to the dining hall then, I guess. Ah, uh, Makoto. Oh, hi, Makoto. Um, um, this is the warehouse, right? Taka said it had everything we could need, but... Are you looking for something? Do you need some help? Huh? No, I can take care of my myself. Thank you. Thank you for asking, though. So then, I wonder what she's looking for. Well there, good evening. Celeste, what are you up to? <laughs> What am I up to? I'm simply going for a nice evening stroll. Hmm. You know, I was thinking about the rooms belonging to everyone who has left us. I would very much like to know what's going on in there, but it seems the doors are locked. It must be another one of Monokuma's little tricks. Sometimes he gets hung up on the weirdest stuff. I wonder about that. Do you think that? so? Seems he is merely him displaying his passion towards the production of this killing game. <laughs> anyway, I shall resume my exertion. If you have some time, you are welcome to join me. Oh, that's okay. I hope you are well. Yes, very well then. Goodbye. Uh, okay, bye. I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no. I guess I'm already roped in. What? Listen to me! Hey, Makoto! Perfect timing! Oh, uh, what's going on? Hey, damn it. I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna go to Mondo because I kind of like him more. <laughs> Hey, damn it. Come on, Makoto! You're gonna be our witness! Witness to what? What? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one. Calling me a coward and shit like that. You're corrupt! You are a coward! That's why you turned to violence to solve your problems! Yo. That's why you can't do anything with society ass of you! Why you walk around dressed like that? Huh? The fuck you say? Yeah. You don't know shit! You hear me? You already lost yourself, but you're already a coward, you don't even realize it! Yeah. Damn so you. what, you're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? Count up. I know I am. You wanna fight? Okay, let's throw down. Prove what you got. Prove what you got I, that I don't. You hear me? I accept your challenge. What? That's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna, like, start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside? I see. I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? Got it. We're going to go see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Piece of God shit. damn straight. Uh, oh, okay. Are you guys really going through with this? Stop fucking shit, yeah. Yo. Hell be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are without exception all talk. You want to throw down? Bring it on. Hey, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't you want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting? You son of We're a bitch! We're gonna battle with our all our clothes on. Ridiculous! That's idiotic, suicidal. You wanna fight? What? You afraid? <laughs> You're gonna regret this. Stop fucking around. Shut up and let's do this. Oh, okay. Hey, Mondo. <laughs> what is going on? What asshole? You can take off your uniform, you know. Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn he... hot spring monkeys? <laughs> Why does he have a towel on his, like, hair? <laughs> it just so happens I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now! Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes pass, a few dozen minutes, then an hour. D don't you think it's about time you gave up? What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Say what ever. Why are they want. still doing this? We have to go to bed. Dead. We're gonna get in trouble. Totally. Good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. Uh, hey guys, I know you both want to prove how big of a badass you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Shut up! <laughs> I can't win. Hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Let's have such soon the doors to the Okay then. Sweet dream. Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call it a tie? Guys, we have to go back. Competition. There's no such thing as a tie. Are we gonna get in trouble for being here? He did say prohibited it for the dining room. We're not in the dining room. You win or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. Listen to you, you son of a bitch. Then bring it on. I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. The gates of hell? That's not a good place to push someone. This isn't good, guys. Oh. Yeah, you want to hear him? Better crawl on your back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my... My legend. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning. You'll fall down in front of me. Down to your knees. I'll show you where, where to do it. Yeah. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. <laughs> right back at ya. Uh, okay, well, good night then. <laughs> We're just gonna leave them there. Aren't they gonna get in trouble? I really hope those two don't overdo it. But I'm sure to death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. Oh god, I hope not. I hope not. I'm kind of scared. The concern stay with me as I slowly sub succumb to sleep. If fate doesn't, it does exist. Does that mean your f future is decided the moment you're born? If all you, if all your yesterday's piling up, up and create your tomorrow, is your future the final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive because I don't know. That's why I desperately cling to life! I can't help but he think he's talking about every single character. That sounds like Hero or something. I don't know. Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. When I entered... Oh, they're both there! <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What the? Yo. Hey, Makoto. <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Uh huh? Are they friends now? <sighs> They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? It feels gross. How no? It feels great, more like. <gasps> this is almost. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. <laughs> Forget her, bro! A girl like her doesn't get our manly bond! You hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Ain't that right? What you just said, bro! That shit- that was cool as shit! I should get a tattoo of it! Without a doubt! No, bro, you mustn't! Your body's a temple given by you and your loving parents! So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit! Who gives a shit?! Got it! Yeah! Don't ask stupid questions! What matters is that both took a part in together! That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Ah. Yeah, for real. <laughs> all of the breakfast, all throughout breakfast that morning, there was room. The room was dominated by Mondo and Thomas' overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. <laughs> Who's at my door? Hmm? Who could that be? I wonder who would come to visit. I opened the door. Someone... And someone forced their way in? Oh! No! I don't want to talk to you! Okay, I guess that is my cue to stop this episode right now because we're gonna talk to Toko and I know she's gonna infuriate me, so... We'll save that for the next part. But yeah, so far, totally uneventful. Um, Bayakuya, though, kind of scares me because... It seems like he's taking this game seriously, considering he's, like, built to win. So him and Celeste scare me the most at the moment. But I feel like it's not really as it seems. I don't know how to describe this, but I I'm hoping he's a red herring for the moment. I just don't have any suspicions for anybody at the moment. Anyway, this was a very interesting uh, part of the game, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you did, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next episode of Danganronpa. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!